Hey guys, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, number 21, and here is our knight, finally. So, Ulrich, shall we start? Um, there is still an invisible wall, by the way. So, here I am. What do you have to tell me? I brought you here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I am very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. Th that's pretty straightforward now, isn't it? Also, I installed a mod. Quite a few, actually. I'll keep the list in the description. And um, I tweaked a couple graphic uh, settings. Now it looks better. And Wait! You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But be quick. I just want to know why you ambushed that wagon. You make no sense. Did your accomplices not tell you when they sent you after me? Accomplices? What are you talking about? I'm here on behalf of Sir Radzi Kobila. Radzi Kobila, you say. A nice attempt. Most men have such stories about wives and children. Your heart would break. Or else they tried to buy me off with stolen coin. Come on then, you... Oh, you missed. Oh, great. Now we're doing this again. Uh. That's stupid. I hope... Nope, this doesn't work. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. He's there. I'm gonna try to be really bloody careful. Get the correct bow, because I don't have strength yet. Some reason or another, I don't know. How about I try to pickpocket you? Because fuck, why not? Well, that didn't work. Or did it? Ow. Ow. Now it fucking hurts. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sounded like a thinking. I don't have enough arrows. Great. Oh yeah. I should search him. I may find something. <laughs> it actually worked. Oh my god. <laughs> Until I'm prepared enough for this, I am not gonna stop doing that, okay? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um call freak oh documents, yes, yes. Very much. Oh, yay! Game saved. That's important, I guess. Ooh, Night Swift and Rock. Okay. Noble Hoberg. Oh my God, that's fucking expensive. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Looks like I'm getting an upgrade. I guess. Ooh, Dark Gamberson. Yes. Ooh, that's heavy shield. Nice. Would you look at that? You look amazing, aren't I? Okay, and then I can get the heavy shield. Yeah, he had a sword, indeed. Robert's Baron's Baron sword. Right? But this padded golf doesn't work. Like the physics. Ooh, it's freaking expensive. Although it has very low blunt damage. You don't use the f fucking sword for blunt stuff. I need to move this to the horse because I'm weak AF. Now we can simply continue onwards. Yeah, because that was fucking great, wasn't it? I should save it or something. Ah, okay. Save conduct according to the god gentleman Ulrich of Paso. Not Sasso, but Paso, okay. We. The aldermen of the great and glorious city of Paso do horribly wish God's grace and mercy and do offer a God will to all and some word princes, religious and secular dukes and good on uh, margraves, barons, lords. 
and other nobles. Charm blains, okay. Ministers and counselors, knights and squires. Uh, I don't know. And captains, customs and officials, treasurers and officials and bailiffs of cities, towns and villagers and other settlements and their elders, governors. Okay, whatever. Um, others who are subject to a delightful uh, or whatever the word is to the Holy Roman Empire and to all who by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ shall take into their hands this missile oh certainly I'm no 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 this is just too much for me okay I think that knight almost tricked me actually by saying yes, you have a lot of questions, I see. So I'm be I'm gonna be an asshole and not answer them at all. What? I can't do any any what? Okay, I should have. Uh... Wait, no, I'm gonna load it because I do not want to fail timed quest. Okay, that will be too far to find Father Simon, anyways. Should I go there on full gallop? I might be able to get there in time. Well, I mean, main story line quests probably won't gonna go away. See, told you I would come here much earlier than with fast travel. This is usually how it works in games. Because fast travel doesn't account sprinting, galloping and stuff like that. Usually, at least I, I haven't saw a game that did that. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the humans or fled to Rate. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players. So when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. But it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungrier, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church, but them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no, it takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about scallets, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the scallets parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scalitz. Simon, I think his name was. Simon. Father Simon. I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring... He showed up here. And what's he doing here? That's just it. 
People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. A man of cloth. Also, this illumination is weird. Okay. It is weird. AF. Okay, I guess we need to find the Father Simon. Yeah, that was the quest. Okay, so, uh... I guess we needed to talk to you. It still shows the marker. Weird. Okay. Oh, right. Should probably, um, actually check this quest. Oh, what can't I do? Okay, failed it anyways. Great. Okay, there we are, I suppose. It may sound strange, but I'm looking for Simon, the priest. Father Simon? I last saw him when he was paying me damages. That was back when Mary was still with us. If you want to know something, ask the wife. I don't have the time or the will to talk about that man. I understand. Thank you. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you- Simon? What do you want him for? I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St. James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too, and I'm inclined to believe it, even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately, there's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalitz. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. That must have been quite a scandal. My husband was furious. He ran around the cottage brandishing an axe and yelling that he'd kill him. The neighbours wagged their tongues a bit, but in the end I was happy the girl was taken care of. The priest was generous with his compensation. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle, and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. The Bible does say it's a terrible sin. Well, I'm not fit to judge, and the ways of the Lord are strange. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. It took a good season before another priest came along. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. Yes, it is basically on the... Uh, side of the map. Great. I wonder what would happen uh, when you uh, go there. If I want to leave the province, I'll have to get permission from Sir Radzik. Ah, I see. Apparently, I need a permission from Sir Radzik if I want to leave. Okay, that's whatever. I guess um, it's a good idea. It's a solid idea. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a quite a trip, indeed. And we are here. Greetings, good night. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. 
Ah. 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 Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. Alright, since I want to train a bit too, we can go to that arena. Or archery range, I mean. Gonna go to the arena too. Where is Bernard? Ah, oh, yes, he is here. Nice. Gonna save. Yeah, sure, wherever. Also, uh, he has a lot of questions, so uh, you can skip, but I'm gonna ask. Can I ask, what kind of a lord is Sir Hamish? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hamish opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalit's refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Thank you. That's all I wanted. I mean, that didn't took long. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? I'd like to hone my skills. First, you have to have some skill. I'd like to practice the basics. I'd like to learn to fight better with an axe. I'd like to practice the basics. All right. Now let's do some archery. Okay, okay. Okay, we are here. So, um, you are the archer master, oh yeah? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in- I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wine to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I don't. You shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point. The white ring two, and the bullseye three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to wager on it, to make it more interesting, see? The better archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right, that seems straightforward. Just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Okay. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. Got it. And I'm done. Okay. Can, can I win? What the? Okay, that's it. And I actually got a bit better result this time. Congratulations once more. And here, as promised, a cask of the finest wine in the province. Thank you. That was easy. AF. Although I want to train with the be I want to train with the best item in the game. Bow, obviously. That was a bit too harsh, that's for sure. So I will see you next time and goodbye.